Hey gang, Drex here, and I am in the Czech Republic. Awesome! I lived here for several months back in 2004, and it's been amazing to come back and get to connect with a company located here in Prague called Pyrotero. Pyrotero's prop division, Light Toys, makes LED props that produce images, patterns, and messages in their trails by using the persistence of vision effect. They're about to come out with a new fourth generation version of their visual boy, and I got to check them out before the general public, and I'd love to tell you guys what I think of them. Now, these guys have packed so many features into this new generation of their programmable poi that I'm going to split this into two different videos. The first video is for spinners who do this in their spare time for fun. The next video will be for professional performers who need a full rundown of everything these poi are capable of doing. Before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultrapoi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all on the web by following the links down in the description of this video. Now, on with the show. So first off, an overview of this product. Visual Poi fall into a category of LED Poi I usually think of as programmable Poi. That is, they can be programmed to display a number of different images, messages, and patterns via software that you download from a computer down to the Poi themselves. These Poi come in three different sizes. The Visual Poi Maxis are 24 inches or 63 centimeters long and can handle images that are up to 200 pixels in height. The Visual Poi Classic are about 18 inches long or 46 centimeters and display images with a height of 136 pixels. The Visual Poi Minis are about 11 inches long or 30 centimeters and display images with a height of 72 pixels. All sets of Poi are programmed using custom written software that's available for both PC and Mac. If you've ever used iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, or any video editing software, you'll find the interface very intuitive. Once you've finished your program, you can download it to your Poi via USB and you're ready to spin. Using the Poi themselves is really simple and intuitive. I have kind of an unspoken tests that I use when dealing with new sets of LED POI. Can I use this without looking at the manual? You'd be surprised how many sets of POI fail this test, but the visual POI don't. They have only a single button that you use to literally do everything with. You hold it down for a couple seconds and you'll see a little indicator light flash near the end of the POI. Next, you'll see a line of four lights at the bottom of the POI. These are your programming banks. Push the button to cycle through and select just one of these lights. Hold down the button for a couple seconds to select that program, push the button, and it'll start running. You push the button once again to end the program, then hold down the button for a few seconds until you see the battery indicator light flash again, and it will turn the POI off. Thanks to the fact that these POI have Pyroterra's new FT chips inside, you can also use a remote control to turn them off and on, as well as start and stop individual programs. To pair them, first turn on the remote by holding the power button until the blue light comes on. Now hold down the pair button until the blue light flashes. Next, turn on your POI by holding down the button until the POI flash white. They then turn purple, which means they're ready to pair. Push the pair button on the remote, and you're done. The POI should turn blue to let you know that pairing has been successful. The remote control can now select individual colors, brightness, strobe modes, and start individual programs. So now that we know how these POI are programmed and operate, the real question is, how are they to use? I'll start out by saying that all POI of this type come with a bit of a limitation. The weight distribution of them is such that the weight is evenly distributed along the length of the tether rather than at the tip. This means that if you're into crazy poi tech, you're going to have a rough time with these because you'll find the weight distribution is totally different from what you're used to working with. You can manage some simple hybrids with the visual poi minis. Clearly, I wouldn't recommend inversions or more complicated anti-brids, or any contact tricks at all for that matter, but these are a great fit for partner poi and with some more basic anti-brids. One other really cool change that they've made to this generation of products is that they're modular. You can actually create staffs and double staffs by connecting the lights to carbon fiber staff cores that are also available through Pyrotera. Depending upon the length of the core and the size of the poi you're connecting, you can wind up with a staff as short as 34 inches or 87 centimeters, or as long as 69 inches or 175 centimeters. I really, really like the effect from these staffs. So with all that covered, let's run down pros and cons. Pros. You can program them on a Mac! Hallelujah! To my knowledge, these are currently the only programmable POI out there that you can program on OS X. To program other sets I've used, I've had to either borrow a PC laptop or run an emulator. Big thumbs up on this one. Next, these are super easy and intuitive to use. Given a technology that's difficult to develop and produce, it's really incredible to me that the interface is as simple as it is. The Pyroterra guys deserve a lot of credit for making the POI as easy to use as possible. Cons. Even though you can run the program on a Mac, the program is really buggy, and it's prone to crashing at a moment's notice. Second, the battery life. If you set the POI to just display full white and crank them up to maximum brightness, you get about a half an hour of life out of these batteries. You can get more life by using different colors or by keeping the brightness down, but if you're going to use these for gigs, make sure you're keeping an eye out for how long you've been spending with them. So overall, the new generation of Visual Poi are the best that Pyroterra and Light Toys has ever made. They're super intuitive to use and program, their software is incredible and doesn't require me to go through crazy steps to be able to program them on my computer. 
I'm a fan. Visual Boy version 4 is set to drop at the beginning of September. Currently, pricing is set to $1,800 for the Visual Boy Maxis, $1,200 for the Visual Boy Classics, and $600 for the Visual Boy Minis. Pricing and release dates are subject to change, though. Look for updates at lighttoys.cz. One other note, Pyroterra actually now has a guy based in the United States who can do some of the most common repairs on these Poi, so in many cases you no longer have to ship the Poi across the pond in order to get them fixed. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.